Magnetization M and field strength H have the same units, ampere per meter in SI units. Show that they have the same dimensional units, length, mass, time, current in CGS. Okay, so uh, first of all we have to remember the definition of field strength in CGS units. So in CGS units, uh, we can write the field strength H is in Ørsted's and it is pole strength P divided by R square uh, where R is the distance from the pole and R is in centimeters. On the other hand, we have force. Uh, force in CGS units is given in dynes and it is uh, Newton's second law, mass times acceleration, which has the units gram centimeter per second square. On the other hand, the, the force of attraction or repulsion between two poles is given by F is equal to uh, pole strength 1, pole strength 2 divided by R squared. So we can see that the dimension of the pole strength is dimension of force uh, multiplied by dimension of R square, which is length square. Uh, and this to the power 1 over 2. So square root of this uh, quantity. Okay, so I denote length with L, uh, mass with M, time with T. Okay. Um, so we can see that the, the dimension of the pole strength uh, can be found uh, as the dimension, uh, if, if I substitute for uh, the unit of force, gram, centimeter per second square and for the length square I substitute centimeter square uh, this to the power 1 over 2 and that gives me a square root of gram centimeter cube per second square or this can be written as a uh, gram to the power one half, centimeter to the power three over two, uh, second to the power minus one. Okay, so I can use this in order to find the dimensional unit of H. So with that, uh, we can basically see that the dimension of P is uh, mass to the power one half, length to the power 3 over 2 divided by time or we can write this as um, L divided by T square root of ML so that would be M to the power 1 half L to the 1 half times L L to the 3 halves divided by T okay so uh, then we can substitute this into the definition of the field strength. The dimension of the field strength H is dimension of the pole strength divided by L square. Uh, R square it has the dimension L square. So in terms of units, this would be a gram to the power one half, a centimeter to the power three halves, second to the power minus one multiplied by centimeter to the power minus two and that gives us as the dimensional unit a gram to the one half centimeter to minus one half and second to minus one so this is our uh, cgs unit dimensional cgs unit for uh, H. 
And in terms of the dimension, we can uh, see that this is a mass um, This is going to be equal to 1 over t times uh, mass to the power 1 half divided by length to the power 1 half. So um, I have 1 over t square root mass divided by length. So that is the dimension of h. So I have done uh, part of the problem I've considered H. Now let me consider uh, magnetization. So uh, at this point, I'm going to start looking at magnetization. Uh, now we have magnetization defined as magnetic moment M divided by volume V. So the dimension of magnetization is dimension of magnetic moment divided by L cube. And in CGS units, the magnetic dipole moment is the pole strength L multiplied by the distance between the poles. So it's a vector. It points from minus P to plus P that is at a distance uh, L. So L is the distance between the two. This is the M magnetic dipole moment vector and its magnitude is p times l. So with that, uh, we can see uh, the dimension of M magnetization will be, capital M, dimension of pole strength times l divided by l cube. And here we have uh, this becoming a square. So this is going to be dimension of the pole strength divided by L square, which is, uh, if I substitute for the unit of pole strength, gram to one half centimeter uh, to three halves and second to minus one multiplied with centimeter to minus two, I will obtain exactly the same result, gram to one half centimeter to minus one half and second to minus one. So the same dimensional unit as H. And as you can see, once again, the dimension of um, magnetization is one over T square root M over L. So it has this dimension. So therefore, I find that if I compare these two results, so indeed magnetization M and field strength H have the same dimensional units gram to one half centimeter to minus one half second to minus one in CGS okay so we considered magnetization and field strength in SI unit system they uh, have the same unit ampere per meter uh, and this comes from the relationship uh, magnetic field magnetic induction B is equal to uh, mu zero times M plus H in SI unit system. So we can see that M and H must have the same units. So uh, this is in Tesla. These two are in amps per meter, amps per meter and mu zero is in uh, Henry per meter. So this is Henry per meter. Okay. Uh, so this gives us Tesla. In CGS, B is equal to uh, H plus uh, 4 pi M, where the unit of M is EMU uh, per centimeter cube. H is in Ørsted's and B is in Gauss. This is in CGS. 
Now we want to find the relationship between H and M dimensional units in uh, CGS. Okay, so basically uh, we can see that the dimension, uh, the dimensional unit of M, which is gram to one half, centimeter to minus one half, second to minus one, is equivalent to uh, EMU per centimeter cube. Uh, in other words, this dimension, um, uh, magnetic dipole moment is P times L, so we can see that uh, the EMU is pole strength times L, so uh, EMU per centimeter is uh, pole strength. So pole strength dimension in CGS is uh, EMU per centimeter. Okay, because we multiplied with L, we get EMU. So uh, we look at the definition of field strength in CGS. It's pole strength divided by R square, where R is the distance from the pole, uh, where we are trying to find the magnetic field strength created by this pole. The force is in dynes in CGS units, and it's equal to mass times acceleration, gram centimeter per second square uh, and uh, therefore we, if you look at the force between two poles in CGS that's P1 P2 over R squared uh, we can find the dimension of P from a square root of dimension of force times a square root of L square so uh, that gives us gram to one half centimeter to three half second to minus one and since we have h is equal to p over r squared p divided by l squared dimension gives me the dimension of h so it is gram to one half centimeter to minus one half second to minus one and its dimension is one over time square root mass per length and for magnetization it's magnetic moment per volume where magnetic moment in cgs is pole strength times the distance between the two poles with opposite signs so it's pole strength times a uh, pole strength dimension times L divided by L cube is magnetization, which is EMU per centimeter cube. Uh, that is gram to one half centimeter to minus one half second to minus one. So indeed, we see that they have the same dimensional units in CGS.